Would you like to see your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? If so, email us. Please send us pictures, videos, or any other information you want included. You guys are the ones with the best stories, so sharing them with us will make the news way more interesting. We wanted to find more about Nova High School's Politics Club. We interviewed Ryan Giles to find out more. I'm here with Ryan Giles, PR manager of the Politics Club have the topic of the day and we're going to discuss what do you think ideology uh, ideologies all sorts of things it's a really great place if you're into politics of course we really have an open place for open debate we love new ideas we just want to see everybody come in express their opinions and have clean debates that are nice that we can end up agreeing to disagreeing or agreeing well, I've learned a lot. There's a whole different, spe there's a whole spectrum of people with opinions, and every time you go, you'll hear a new opinion, a new voice, a new face, and it's great. Politics Club runs every other Tuesday right after school in room 258. The next meeting is Tuesday, November 1st. Please come and discuss your opinions. Man, this AP Micro Macro is so hard. I wish there was a way I could get some help. Did you say AP Micro? I can help you out with that, John. Wow, thank goodness there was an AP Micro Macro tutor to help me. You're welcome, John. Do you want to help tutor for AP Micro Macro? If so, then let Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Scribble know. You can either stop by their room or email them to let them know. Hey Wildcats, our Varsity Boys Tennis team took 4th place in the state finals last week. Both our 1, 3, and 4th doubles went into the semifinals. Congratulations to our team. Let's check up on our Nova Esports teams. League of Legends, Splatoon, Valorant White, and Green all won this week. Our Rocket League team and Smash White lost. Special shoutouts to our Smash Green team who won and now are first in the state in Smash Bros. Last week, the Nova Girls Swim and Dive team had their last dual meet of the season, beating Howell 112-68. to Now they're entering their championship season. Today, the divers will be competing in the Nova Invitational from 5 to 8 p.m. at the NHS pool. Tomorrow, the Junior Varsity Swim Team will be at Northville High School at noon for the JV Championship meet. Good luck this weekend and finish the season strong. What's up, Nova? Last night, our volleyball team took a loss in their final game of the regular season against Lake Orion. They'll be looking to bounce back in the playoffs against Salem. Hey Novi, on Monday, your girls field hockey team beat Dearborn 5-1. Yesterday, they took an unfortunate defeat against Skyline in their semifinals game. Thanks for a great season, girls. Last Friday, the Nova Wildcats lost to the Dearborn Pioneers 35-20. Today, the Nova Wildcats face off against the Northland Mustangs in the first round of playoffs. Go Wildcats! What's up, Novi? Last Saturday, our cross-country teams raced at the KLAA Cross-Country Championships. The boys got 6th out of 15 teams, while the girls got 4th out of 15. Two boys got personal records that event. Also, the boys raced at Brighton Prom last Thursday. They placed 7th out of 12 teams, but two of the boys got season records, and eight got personal records. Great job, Novi. Tonight at the Novi Northville football playoff game, the Novi High School Marching Band will have a pet band playing there for us. Also, this Saturday, there will be another band competition. Hello everybody, my name is Lindsey Dollinger. Today I'm going to be interviewing the residents of Nova High School on their opinions and hot takes about Halloween costume ideas. Halloween costume do you not want to see this year? The devil and angel. <laughs> Thank you. Halloween costume do you not want to see this year? Those inflatable dinosaurs. 
What Halloween costume do you not want to see this year? Um, like a morph suit. <laughs> okay. What Halloween costume do you not want to see this year? I don't want to see a big group of girls just wearing like matching M and M costumes with just like a plain like colorful T-shirt and just M's and calling that a costume. Okay, that's valid. <laughs> And what Halloween costume do you not want to see this year? Angels and Devils. Thank you. <laughs> we went to three different boba tea shops near Novi to find out which boba is the best. I do drink bubble tea quite often. I work at Kung Fu Tea and I get bubble tea like all of the time. And I've never had bubble tea at all. We are starting with Ding Tea. Three, two, one. Let me just say initial reaction. It tastes like very much like black tea. Like I don't taste much sweetness in this. I'm kind of the person that doesn't like a lot of sugar in bubble tea. I think even I would want a little more sugar. The taste is fine for me, but the aftertaste is pretty bitter. So let's talk about texture then. Just from tasting that, it feels a little too hard. The inside tastes harder than the outside. Right, right. Not sure if I'm a big fan of that one. My overall reaction to the Dink Tea, I'd give it three out of 10 Wildcats. I would give it a solid four out of and Wildcats. Since I have nothing to compare this to, I'm just gonna give this a solid five. Okay, let's move on to the next. So this is Kung Fu Tea. Let's try it, let's do this. Let's try it. The bubbles are on point. Compared to the last one, it has the, the, the enough chewiness. Unlike the last one, it's just too hard to chew. Bubbles, amazing. They're cooked in honey. They're a lot sweeter than the last ones, easier to chew than the last ones. Um, I would say they are a little soft, but I think that would be a it's got a little bit of sweetness, not too sweet. It's frothy. I think it's a good way to go. It's a, a little over my personal preference for yeah. sweetness. At Ding Tea, it was more sweet in the beginning and then bitter towards the end. This one is more of a mixture. Ding Tea is like, bam, but Kung Fu is more like that. The texture of the the bubbles definitely easier to chew. I think softer boba is better. I'm gonna give this a, oh, yeah. an astounding eight out of 10 Wildcats. Scott? I, I am not ready to go that far. I think this is like a solid six. The milk, they're the same, but the bobas make it a five to a six for me. All right, on to the next. So this is our third and final one. This is tea gather. Let's get right to the drink. Why does it taste like chocolate? It tastes almond like almond. Does it taste like almond milk? I've never had almond milk. Okay. <laughs> Comparatively, this is the best one. It's the least bitter, and it tastes the best to me. It's weird because it's so sweet that I don't taste the tea. So maybe I'm biased in that I don't like tea. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> okay, texture. I think this is actually best texture so far. I would say so too. After trying every single boba, they all taste the same. They... <laughs> it's the same texture. <laughs> They're about, they're equally as I don't know why I thought Kung Fu was softer than this. I'm gonna say six out of ten wild. Cats. I think I agree with your six. For me, I'm gonna go back to Kung Fu tea and retract the six back down to five. For tea gather, if we're talking tea, it's a three. But personally, it's a six for me. That concludes our review of Bubble Tea. Hands, hands in. Hands in. The three, two, one, Boba Boys. Boba Boys on yeah. three. One, two, three. Boba, Boba Boys! Boys.